Hello, I'm Cop365, and I guess this is kind of like a welcome back YouTube video since I haven't been uploading for a while because, you know, I was like doing my own thing. I was like, you know, doing stuff, trying to make a project and deal with some, you know, my, I don't know, you know, personal life. But in any case, I wanted to make this video, well, not really, because. I didn't want to make this video about it, you know, adult animation, but yeah, here we are. So today I'm going to talk about this show called Hell of a Boss. It's an adult animation about a three amps on an assassin business, but I'm not going to go too much detail about it because it has mm -mm, a mature themes. This show is produced by Spindle Horse that founded by Fifty Pop, who created Hasbro Hotel and Zootopia. The company did great. If one of them has, you know, been an issue, and those are the main reason. There were so many plots of ideas of flaws and mysteries that it is hard to keep at it. And I have my share for my favorite video game. I'll let six YouTubers who can explain it why. The writing team is not on the same page for this show. You know, everything happened and yet nothing happened in this episode. This episode was... <sighs> Excuse me. <clears throat> In my opinion, this episode was rushed whiplash 101. It is so hard to digest. This might be, emphasis on might be, a little too much thrown at us at once for both seasons 1 and 2. Currently, we've seen the return of Stryker making good on his promise. In terms of the others, however, we've gotten close to zero. The thing is, with each one of them going, I'll get you next time, or this isn't over, you're expected to see them again at some point. But the show in its current state seems to be more concerned with fleshing out more and more of the world building and newer characters. And in the process, maybe, just maybe, going back to its main four to offer a bit of development and that's it. All of these are meant to be overarching stories, so I don't expect any of them to be resolved quickly, but having this many storylines is a problem. Instead of the show prioritizing the storylines that they've already set up and taking time to resolve those foes, they just keep on adding one after another to the point that it has become an unfocused mess. One moment they're developing character arcs and relationships, the next they're setting up entirely new characters to get developed later, the next they're switching up already established relationships to be completely different, the next they're adding lore that opens up more questions than it answers, the next they're doing episodic one-offs with villains they wait until some far off date to bring back, the next they're throwing all that out to act like it didn't happen. It's been so hard trying to format a full-on review of this show that has a thesis and clear indication of the point I want to make because it keeps altering what it wants to be and we can't even get a definite fucking focus there was enough shit in season one to make three seasons of show with i firmly believe that in fact i know it to be true because when i was watching season one i thought just with the amount of stuff they'd introduced then they could cook so much amazing shit not even to say shit they could cook so much amazing story with all of that but now the realm has shifted. Everything, the scope of everything has just changed so drastically to the point where I don't really understand the show and where it's gonna be going from now on. The show has so many ideas, characters, and stories it wants to tell, but doesn't realize you have to flesh them out and space them apart in order for them to work. Like one episode will establish a relationship and its emotional strengths and weaknesses for another episode to add to feeling very personal and the start to a storyline we want to see, only to then have the next episode be about introducing new antagonists, starting a new story, and just completely forgetting everything that ever happened in the previous one. You see the problem? After watching every episode of all season, there's some questionable endings that even I have some questions. For starters, are we going to see the cherubs again when they are bended from heaven to earth? Is Crimson gonna get back on his son Moxie? Is Stryer's gonna continue his royal hunting journey? What in Drillophis and Stella's planning for keeping Stella's alive? And what we percussion when Fizzawali and Osmodeus relationship has been revealed? And what does it mean for Stella's and Blizzle's relationship? And my personal favorite, what happens when the doors are gonna expose the MIPs to the whole world of Earth? 
hopefully the show will give us some answers, but I, something tells me that we're just gonna have to wait. Since 50 tweet of the new episodes, and there are three princes of Seven Deadly Sin that we haven't introduced yet, and there is one wing that we haven't seen yet. Also, they're working on the Husband of Tell show, so I don't expect anything resolved so quickly. Other than that, it's pretty good and shocking at the same time, and pretty entertainment. And you want to know the reason why I don't upload much is because I've been working on my fan story project. It's called Purgatory Territory, based from a show Husband Hotel, and even the pilot inspired me to make my own story. But enough about my work, let's get back to the hell of a boss. As I said before, the show did okay. Just has some hanging ambiguous storylines. And I'm not the type of man who always, you know, making videos about, you know, shows and just talk about it. But when you feel like, you know, you feel like you're just lost and irritating that point, you just feel like you just had to get something off your chest. And I'm not the type of guy who give criticism, but I could give constructive criticism feedback because I admire their work and I always, you know, hoping they could improve it. To advise to Vipsy, Adam, and Brendan because they're the writers of Hell of a Boss, slow down, we evaluate, we watch the episode of your show if you had to, take time to see the option of your next move and just do your best. And here's my powder to start to finish of the characters. I'm Cup Deuces 5 and I hope I'll see you guys again soon. But until then, stay tuned.